have tomorrow. Then, the second, 
you know, they do prostitution, same, you know, same art, we do prostitution, same action now, because they have different motivation. Therefore, their job or their activity go to small scope. Then second person, oh, if I am feeling from the lower on surfing, but still there, samsara surfing is too much. I want to flee from the samsara. Therefore, I want to do prostration, meditation, do practice, read books. That kind of person, because the motivation <coughs> is, I want to flee from the samsara. Suffering. Therefore, I want to let the motivation they must do. Miriam Scott. They call me Miriam Scott. Then, third one, Grace Scott. You say, ah, if I'm free from the lower arm sufferings, if I'm free from the, you know, samsara, but all the sentient beings sense me. They don't, feel, <coughs> they don't want any sufferings, they don't they wish to happiness. I need to help for them there. How can I do? We are not around any powers. <coughs> then how can I do? Then he think of, oh, I have to cheap enlightenment. Then I can help for them. Their kind of motivation, benefit for the, all the sentient beings, therefore I need to cheap enlightenment. Therefore, um in order to oh, in order to in order to achieve the enlightenment, then I need to prostration, you know, male circumvallation, you know, study, meditation. That kind of person doing the prostration, example, prostration, same. Three, all the three scars, they do prostration, same, but different motivation. The third one we call the red scar. Scar. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not my accident that you can You know, no, no, you know oh, yeah. this kind of small scale, this is medium, this one. So, <coughs> anyway, um, the medium, small, and uh, great scope, that depends on the motivation. That gave us some insight, was. And it gave us some conversation of the So, just as there are you know, three scopes, there are also the reference of the three scopes. Three scopes. She don't jump to say that, and eh, I'm going to jump to say that, and I'm going to jump to say that, and I'm going to jump to say that, and I'm going to So the reference is, you know, we um, assign someone or somebody, something, as an object of refuge, and then we take refuge in them, asking them to protect us. And then, so, jump to say that, I'm going to say that, and 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 I'm going to say that, so, in order to take refuge, you, know, you have to have a fear towards something <coughs> from which you want to be protected, right? So, you have to have that fear. So, here, the fear <coughs> here is fear towards the suffering of the lower realm, you know, uh, especially uh, suffering of the lower realm. So, uh, you, have, you have a kind of fear towards the suffering of the lower realm, and in order to be protected from that, then you take refuge in the three jewels. <coughs> <laughs> and so you have that fear towards the suffering of you know, the lower realm, and then also you believe that Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha has the power to protect you from those suffering. And so these two are very important the fear towards the suffering, and then believe in the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha that they have the power to protect you. So these two, without these, these two are the causes of the refuge. Without these two, you can't, have, you know, you will not have a refuge. And so that is the kind of the measure or the border you know, of whether you are Buddhist or you know, not Buddhist. So it depends on whether you have taken refuge in the three Jews or not. Generally, to study about Buddhism, of course, you don't have to be Buddhist. 
So by studying about Buddhism, you can take any advantage in it. You know, there is, and you can take those advantages. <coughs> what determines whether one is Buddhist or not uh, is that whether one has a, <coughs> a pure refuge in one's mind or not. And whether one has a pure refuge or not in one's mind depends on whether one has the, uh, the two causes of the refuge or not. <coughs> and so one of the causes for taking refuge is that you know, one has a strong fear towards the sufferings of the Laura. Right? And so first of all one has to have that fear within oneself, right? And then then you generate that fear or that uh, you know, kind of a feeling, you know, for others. Yeah. Um, so without having fear towards you know for yourself, you will not have the feeling for others. <laughs> So you don't think about oneself even in the dream, then how will you think about others? There's no way to think about others. And so in general, like I said, you know, whether you are Buddhist or not depends on whether you have refuge or not, you know, pure refuge in your mind or not, and whether you will have a pure refuge in your mind or not depends on whether you have these two causes for taking refuge, that is, uh, take, uh, 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 having a sense of fear towards the sufferings of Lorya and uh, believing that Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha has the power to protect you from these sufferings. Okay. Uh, so you know it already, but because it's important, and therefore if we talk about it again and again, it helps, right? <laughs> so we might think that uh, I don't know about the sufferings of the Lord because I haven't, I haven't been there, I haven't experienced, I don't, I mean, I, have, I don't remember being there, right? And I <clears throat> haven't seen them, so I don't know about their suffering, but I do understand my own suffering, right? I can understand my own suffering. I have a lot of problems, I have a lot of suffering, so I can understand those. Uh, <clears throat> and also, I don't know about creatures, I don't know about the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, I don't know whether they have the power to protect me or not. And so we have to generate this belief in our mind and thinking that they have the power to put us. So in order to have that belief, then we have to understand about the Buddha and Sangha. So Buddha is the, the, the father of the refuge. And then the Dharma is the actual refuge. And then Sangha is like the help, you know, the, you know, the one who helps you to achieve uh, the refuge. So Buddha is, uh, is a, someone, a being, you know, who is uh, free of all the faults, who has freed himself from all the faults, and who have achieved all the qualities, all the excellent qualities. Uh, then we might think that where is the Buddha, you know, so uh, we don't see him, so where is, where is he, we might think, right? right? Then we don't know if they call it or not. Uh, so, 
And so, how do you know that person is an enlightened person or you know, uh, a holy person? Uh, is through his speech. You know, through his speech, you, you can you, know, un you can understand or you can come to understand that he you know, she is uh, a superior being.
And so, <coughs> anyway, so through, through engaging in the practice of abandoning ten and virtuous actions, and we overcome all those non-virtuous actions that we have created, right? And so, therefore, we, that, through that practice, we free ourselves you know, from the suffering uh, that might be experienced as a result of creating those non-virtuous actions. So that you know, because that temporary that I mean that frees us from the suffering temporarily, you know, in order to be completely free from the suffering, and we have realized emptiness directly, right? You know, only that can completely free us from suffering. So therefore that is the actual dharma. Uh, but you know, the abandonment of tenant versus action and so forth, that temporarily frees us from you know certain kind of sufferings. Therefore, that can be also a dharma, uh, not the actual dharma that frees us from the entire suffering, but from some sort of suffering. So it's like similar dharma. So if we engage in any of the tendon versus actions, then uh, we're going to experience the result of those tendon versus actions, right? Directly or indirectly. And so if we <coughs> practice the abandonment of ten and virtuous actions, then you know, uh, and then we free ourselves, then we're not creating, right? So if we abandon it, then we don't create it. If we don't create, then we don't experience. And so by abandoning, we free ourselves you know, from experiencing those sufferings. <laughs> And so that abandonment you know, has to be done by oneself, right? So somebody else can abandon that for you. And so not even Buddha you know, can abandon for you. So Buddha should, therefore Buddha said, I show you the path you know, to liberation, but the liberation depends on yourself. Okay. And then the, the Sangha, you know, the actual Sangha, you know, is someone who has realized uh, the emptiness directly. So whoever has that, that realization of the direct emptiness, you know, is the Sangha, actual Sangha. And um, and then you know, the similar sangha you know, will be the actual sangha is someone who has realized emptiness directly, and then the similar sangha uh, will be like you know, a group of four monks or nuns, you know, will be a similar sangha. So, in our case, you know, we are, we are coming, we come together and study and then help each other to understand. So, you know, we can call that also a similar sangha. Yeah. And so, because we have this group, therefore we have you know, the opportunity to study, right? Yeah. So, so, yeah, if we didn't have a group, you know, we would not be able to study. One or, one or two persons would not be able to study, right? So, and having that group, you know, Helps us you know, to study, to practice. So therefore, that group you know, can be a, a similar sangha, not actual sangha, but similar sangha. Okay. Right, so, um, so whether one is a Buddhist or not depends on the refuge, right? Whether one takes refuge in the Buddha Dharma Sangha or not. So whether one takes refuge in the Buddha Dharma Sangha or not depends on whether one has the the two causes you know, for taking refuge or not, right? Uh, <coughs> yeah, of course, uh, 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 there are these practices you know, of the small, medium and great scoffs, right? And so what, what scope of practice it becomes and it depends on what uh, one's motivation, right? 
And then the, you know, the, <coughs> the measure uh, of being the Buddhist, I mean, uh, the Mahayanist or not, depends on whether one has uh, uh, Bodhicitta or not. So if one has Bodhicitta, then one is a Mahayanist. If one doesn't have Bodhicitta, then one is not Mahayanist. And then true Tevachim treatment, much of Kalat with Tevachim, it's very gross on this. So it is said that uh, it is not sufficient you know, for the teaching to be of the Mahayanis, <coughs> Mahayana. Uh, it is important for the person to be Mahayanist. And so what makes the person to be a Mahayanist <coughs> is the Bodhicitta. If one has Bodhicitta, then one becomes Mahayanist. <coughs> Then 
So just like the, the Course says, you know, wholesome qualities do not grow in people who have no faith, just as green sprouts do not grow from seeds uh, scorched by fire. You know? so, so all these qualities, you know, in order to have these excellent or wholesome qualities, you have to have faith. So people who lack faith will not you know, have the wholesome qualities. So just like you know, the green, you know, <clears throat> uh, just like you know, uh, the seed that is burned by fire, you know, will not be able to you know, <clears throat> uh, uh, produce a, you know, sprout, a green sprout. And the and the mother and also it is said that faith is the <coughs> forerunner. So it goes uh, you know, before forerunner and uh, forerunner like a mother uh, in the uh, uh, procreator. So you know, in, you know, without a mother you can't have a child. Right? So in order to have a child you have to have a mother. And so unless nowadays you, know, you can produce a baby without a mother. Maybe the science and science, science and might have created things like that, right? So generally there are four different kinds of births, right? Anybody knows? Four. Four different kinds of births. What, what are they? By womb. Oh, okay. By moisture. Miraculous birth. It's okay. And then what was the first first one you said? Womb birth. Womb and then? Uh, moisture. 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 Right. moisture. Okay. okay. Which one is the third one? Miraculous. <laughs> the miraculous? There's an egg, there's egg. a womb, the moisture. Moisture and the miraculous. Miraculous. Where's the four? So it's not necessarily only human beings. General sentient beings. Right? Yes. What would be a moisture, birth from moisture? Microorganisms. That's a good question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a sentient being. Are they human beings? No, but they have a contained mind, though. No, but sentient beings. Yeah, they have a Is mold then? Mind. No, they're like a fungus. They're like a fungus. No, 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 Heat, moisture and heat. Tell him not to work. 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 Tell him not to to work. Tell him not to work. Tell him not to そう。<笑> I'm sorry, guess I have a okay. question. So, uh, getting back to the the moisture. So, in 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 this, moisture is like a worm or insects is considered moisture, even though it's like an egg. 
the mother, no, not all of them, but some kind of uh, some kind of insects or some kind of uh, um, the, like germs, you know, the oh, the, I see. the, the bacteria and things like that. Oh, okay. Like like that kind of that so kind, of, being, that kind of beings, they're so small that we can't even see without. Oh, I see. Eyes. Okay. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ah, that was. So human being would be mostly. 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 Yeah. Um, so anyway, so uh, in order to be born from the womb, you have to have mother, right? Mm -hmm. And so without a without a child in the born from womb, and I don't know, without a mother, there cannot be a child in the born from womb. And so just like that, without the faith, that uh, there can be any um, uh, wholesome or an excellent qualities. And so it's not like a rule, you know, forced by Buddhists you know, saying that, okay, so without a faith you will not have excellent qualities. And so we will listen or heed you know, to the advice or teachings you know, to someone in whom we have faith, right? If we don't have faith in that person, we will not listen to that person. Mm. And so you have to have faith. Right? So if you have the faith, then you gain it. You gain yourself. You gain. You know. You, know? Um, you get the profit. You know? So therefore, it's important for you to have the faith. Mm. And so if you get, have the faith, then you will gain, and therefore you know, it is important to have faith. And so therefore the uh, faith you know, is a virtual matter factor. It's the first one of the eleven virtues matter factor. So lack of faith is non virtuous. And so then uh, the shame, right? The second one is shame. Right? It's the, uh, it's the virtue manufacturer. And it found you guys found? Thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. Okay. Then Moza, Moza Shiba has Mo Moza Shiba. Number two, the Moza Shiba Kashi na Daniela Kanam Matuban Zambati. Rawa, Yabra Shiba, Yabra Dumbi. Eh, Shiba Leche no Shiso Matera. <coughs> so, says here, right, the shame. Regarding shame, the compendium of knowledge says, What is shame? It is an uh, avoidance you know, of misdeed on account of oneself. <coughs> it has the <coughs> function of acting as support for effective uh, restraint from misconduct. So, that's the kind of shame, right? So, I don't know how we understand the shame as in general, but. The shame according to this text is that. And so anyway, so it is you know, it is an avoidance you know, of misdeed, so preventing you know, in creating the non virtuous action you know, because of oneself, yeah. account of oneself or because of oneself, because of yeah, of oneself. <coughs> so, you know, because of oneself, right? So I said, oh, I should not do this. Now I cannot, I, sh I should not do this. If I do this, you know, I will experience you know, such and such bad results. You know? So therefore, I should not do it. You know? So because of oneself, you know, because of one's own reason, uh, then you say, okay, I, don't, I should not do it. Um, so sometimes you know, um, you know, the people when they engage in things you know, that is kind of vulgar, you know, or you know, not not good in you know, in the eyes of other people, and then they do those things, then we say, oh, these these people are shameless. 
So what kind of activity will be shameful? Stealing? Yeah, stealing. Adultery, anything. Yeah. Lawyer. Yeah. So what kind of activity will be shameful? Um, so, you know, like, not only in the eyes of other people, it's also bad for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And if you engage in adultery, and so he mm -hmm. says, oh, you know, I should not do this. If I do that, it's going to be, you know, a non virtuous action. It's going mm -hmm. to bring me a bad result and so forth. Why would that talk because of that? So, not even with others, just because of oneself. If you think, so I should not do that, then that's a shame. Yeah. So same with steel. <coughs> so he says, I should not steal because if I steal, then I will suffer, you know, I will you know, it will be bad for myself, and therefore I should not steal. So just like it says here, it has the function of acting as a support for effective restraint from misconduct. Okay? I don't know if this makes sense or not. Yeah, you have to uh, Yes. <coughs> so, Shane, is this the same as regret before the fact? Regret is something that we've already done something, and we have regret about it because we know it'll lead to suffering for ourselves or for others. Whereas shame is before the fact. So before you've actually committed the non virtuous action, this is the thing that's holding us, holding us back from, from doing that. Is that a way to put it? Like it's just, it's regret, but it's before the fact. ま、そうそう、ま、で、ちょっと。で、よ。あの、で、で、ま、そうしゃばせ。で、よ。で、ちょっと。で、よ。で、ちょっと。で、よ。で、ちょっと。で、よ。で、ちょっと。で、よ。
So the shame, you know, is because on account of oneself and because of oneself, right? Uh, it says, oh, I should not do this because it's going to be bad for me. You know, I should not do that. And then it says the embarrassment is because of others. So, oh, I should not do this. What will people think if I do this? You know? uh, how will my guru or you know the Buddhas feel if I do this? You know, if you think because of others, you know, and then you avoid you know, engaging in those actions. Those uh, wrong actions, no, that's called embarrassment. And so here it says, right in discussion, and of the pair, it's a shame and embarrassment. What is the difference between the shame and embarrassment? Although both of them are similar in terms of avoiding misconduct, shame is such that if <coughs> one is about to engage in misconduct, one avoids it thinking this is not something uh, I should do. Um, in the case of embarrassment, uh, when one comes to come close you know, to engaging in misconduct, one avoids it on account of others thinking if others were to despise me, as a result of engaging in this misconduct and so forth. So that's the difference between the, the shame and embarrassment. And he says once um, one avoids misconduct due to you know, concerns about the displeasure of uh, one's guru or teachers, uh, the principal objects, you know, objects you know, uh, of disappointments and so forth. So um, anyway, it's so a shame and, and embarrassment. The shame you know, is because of oneself, like you know, if there's nobody around. You engage in such kind of mis misconduct or bad actions, um, so there's there's nothing to be embarrassed, right? Because nobody is there to see what you're doing. But then it is bad for yourself because you're creating unwise action and so forth. So because of that, they say, "Oh, I should not do this." And that is shame. And so <coughs> if you don't have the shame and embarrassment. And will not be able to avoid those misconducts. And so, so their functions are the same. It says like that their, their function is specified as acting as a support or effective restraint from misconduct. So it says here, as, uh, <coughs> um, uh, the, because shame and embarrassment are definitely necessary for restraining misconduct of the three, body, speech, and mind, if shame and embarrassment are absent, one will be unable to restrain oneself from any misconduct whatsoever. Uh, for without a fear about the fruition uh, from one's own side, uh, and lacking concern about you know, the displeasure of one's rules, teachers, and so forth, there will be no way to uh, cease misconduct. Okay, yeah. I'll be a pretty question, okay? So I have uh, some confusion here. I 
from another teaching, I remember talking about the eight worldly dharmas, and the one of the eight worldly dharmas is reputation, um, being concerned with your own reputation, and so on. Um, to me, I'm having a, a problem understanding the difference between embarrassment and then being concerned with your own reputation and how that's one of the eight worldly dharmas, and so that's not, uh, from what I understand, that's not a virtuous thing to, to be concerned with your own reputation or overly concerned with your own reputation. So what's that? What's the difference between that and, and, and this virtuous thing, which is embarrassing? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I said, do you have the same kind of doubt, and the same amount of doubt, less doubt, or more doubts? Yeah. Can you make it more clear more to clear, me? More clear, more difficult, you guys mean? Uh -huh. right. I can yeah. add to it. Yeah, you can add it also. You can add bad things or you can add good things. You can also add Actually, I'm not adding anything. It's what Geshe said last time when I asked this. He also talked about um, representing Buddhism too, and lineage mm. too. Like, you don't want to make other people think badly about Buddhism and or like, mm -hmm. you act a certain way, it might affect other people's opinion, opinions yeah, about like His Holiness Dalai Lama and Buddhism in general and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what Geshe said in point too. I'm a Buddhist. I cannot do that. If I do that, and then the whole the, the, the whole Buddhist will have bad name and things like that. So you know, it's, it's in relation to others about other people's opinion. That's that's ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
and you would be ashamed for your te for, for teachers or someone else who also hold that values and know you to hold those values. Um, so wouldn't it be said that they have to go together, shame and embarrassment. You can't just be ashamed. If you're only embarrassed and not ashamed, then it would probably be, um, it, it would fall under the category of an eight-worldly dharma of, um, of craving reputation, ego attachment. You really don't hold that value, uh, but you feel others do. Uh, I'm really not ashamed of what I did, but I don't want others to know that I did that. Um, it's not a value I hold, uh, but just in the eyes of others. So it would seem to me that for these purposes, shame and embarrassment, uh, I'm guessing or I'm asking, have to, have to uh, be co uh, common in. They have to uh, happen together. I was, I thought I said it was a shit about the two, and you did. Number two, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah, 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 let's. Number two, let's go. And all the fun times. So we can think about that <laughs> having having to have both at the same time. Not having another one without one. Yeah, well, the, the question I have was, well, if it was, if I'm embarrassed about something. Uh, I, I committed an act that I don't want others to know. So Gishla's opinion is that you don't have to go together. You know, sometimes uh, whatever the people think, I'm, I'm going to be that. What am I teaching? And I don't want to know what they're going to Some people say, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm, you know, scared. Yeah. They don't want to do that. Is it possible for one to exist without the other? Therefore, that's the reason why it's not necessary to exist. Hmm. Hmm. Is it possible for one to exist without the other? Therefore, that's the reason why it's not necessary. So, to what is the possibility? For example, let's say if we were to create a small negative number too, right? Something that. Because of our um, afflicted emotions, like attachment, we're willing to take that responsibility. We're willing to commit that little negative non-virtue. We're willing to accept the possible consequences for ourselves. Uh, so you're, we don't willing, have you're willing to you're willing to experience it. But you're willing to experience it. So from our side, we're not. It's not stopping us. It wouldn't stop us necessarily from committing that non-virtue. But then, if by thinking about all the Buddhas or our teachers or the kindness or pe other people who might be feeling, who might feel um, hurt by it or who might feel displeased by mm. it, we, that could stop it, us from coming to action. So, right? the number, small number of actions that we're willing to experience, the willing to take of, the result, right? right? So, what is that? Oh, I don't know, let's say. Manifest as anything, yeah. Or even like a small adult. No, 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 I mean, no, what's that? Is that, are you saying that is embarrassment that or is, shame? Right, so in that case, if that That's would be embarrassment, no, no, a small, from our side, if it were to be shame, if shame and embarrassment had to go together, then in a case where not thinking about others, just from our perspective, we're willing to take the consequences. Of and so for that, 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 because so of that, that would be, because and of you that, engage in that small number of so right? right, exactly. So, so that's that not shame. The, so we'd be lacking shame at that point, right? Yes, there's but no then, shame, no embarrassment. At that point. But if the following thought, thought, okay, even if it's okay with me, when I think of others, like my teachers or, or the Buddhas or other people I care about who might be affected negatively and I might hurt their feelings, I might displease them, maybe I don't want to cause that effect on the others and that might stop me from actually committing that negative action. So not because on the court of myself, but 
on the court of what others might think. Mm -hmm. well, well, you can have um, embarrassment without the shame, mm -hmm. but so are you I don't think that you can have um, shame, shame without, without embarrassment. embarrassment. Okay, but then first of all, the fact that we can have embarrassment without shame goes to show that it's not necessary for two to act okay. exist together all the time. Right? So now we're talking about a three possibility <coughs> situation where one is a subset of another. So now you change from four possibility where <laughs> one can exist without the, you know, one, or no, mutually <laughs> inclusive or to have to exist simultaneously to now we've moved up, up to three possibilities. <laughs> okay, now who? Yeah. You said earlier about embarrassment, like in terms of rep you know, Buddhism's reputation. I don't see how those are both like in terms of what the gurus and Buddhists think, and in terms of so, others. So, we're good or this part, this part? I think we're good. A good or this part? A red? Yeah, you okay. You satisfied with that? Well, no, I, I get it now. <laughs> I get it now. He changed his mind. <laughs> I just wanted it. Well, I can understand now why it wouldn't be um, the, the uh, craving for uh, praise or reputation doesn't necessarily have to be present. I mean, I, I understand how how she put it, that, you know, I'm okay with it for myself, but I wouldn't want others to know I did that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah, more, yeah. You know I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it, you know. Kind of that they you too much. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody I, has any yeah. different thought about that or no? Agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay, good. Then now we can go there. Well, I, I was going to add these. I remember <coughs> reading in the in the Lam room, I forgot the um, the individual's the name, but he was doing these offerings, and he realized that the offerings were, he was, I, I forget, he was going to some, no, no I remember so now. He was yeah, having yeah. somebody come to his yeah. house. Yeah, he was yeah. having somebody come to his yeah. house, and he made these beautiful offerings, and he was all excited and happy about it. Yeah. But then he thought something that, you know, like, this is embarrassment. But, you know, maybe it was virtuous what he was doing, he was fine, but then he thought that maybe he's doing it for show, so then he put dust all over yeah, everything right. and made it sloppy. Yeah. So that's an example of where there's a disconnect. So, I, I mean, I'm supporting it, it's just this little memory came. I just wanted to share that. Okay. Go ahead, talk, talk more. Um, uh, I don't really have anything to add. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for... It gives me a lot of faith that I can come here and I can ask questions and I can have doubts um, and have, you know, the ability to talk about it um, and still, you know, be able to, yeah, it, it means a lot to me. It makes me have more faith in this that I, it's okay to, to question and so on. So I thank you very much for that, for being able to do that. We have more questions you can don't don't be embarrassed to ask a question. I said don't be embarrassed to ask a question. Yeah. 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 And don't be ashamed to say what's on your mind. That's good. That's good. Help me. I need to. He said don't be embarrassed to ask us. I said don't be ashamed to say what's on your mind. Now the question is very good. Anywhere doubt, we can talk together, then more clean. You know, I already told you many times, you know. When we study the monastery, first we go to teaching, you know, teaching, explain for teaching. Then we all go to the debate yard, what the cars must be, you know. The people just come, there some people come near there, think they are fighting. Their emotions are very, very serious, you know. They must pound each other. Now they, Debate each other the different opinions, then follow the text, follow the text, then different understand, you know, we need different understand. Mm -hmm. Not she understands something, he understands different way. Therefore, you put together, if you debate, no discussion, then you more kind of tremble, the same thing there is in it. Or be, um, be more stable in your mind. What you discuss, this is more I, stable is going to be in your mind. I have more experience. And right now, I'm, when I was in you know, a study time, what subject I do motivate, still I'm very easy to remember. remember, also easy to understand if I read again. If I study that and didn't debate, then I don't know what to talk about that now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I have to study all the things together, you know. They were debates very special to make you 
with John Impers of Germany. Mm -hmm. Keshe La, can we can we have a debate night at the center? Sometimes? <laughs> one night. Yeah, it's good. You know, a, a night set aside for debate. Debate, you know, Lula, that Lula, we say, this is the third day, Mosare, Chul Mosare, Chul Mosare, 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 yeah, so the debate is like a discussion, right? So you say it has to go together, and Ella says you don't have to go together, so then you... No, you both debate. You two, you two can debate. Because you both different, different yeah. opponents, right? Yeah. Therefore, no, you say you are the, you are the right, whatever I say, I'm thinking the right. She yeah. said, no, you are the wrong, you are... Or they will never do the party, they will do us. So this, uh, this logic harms to you. Yeah. Yeah, right. Therefore, debate is dead, you know? <coughs> so if it doesn't go against you know, the logic and doesn't go against the uh, the scriptural quotes, you know, then then that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, is you know, would it be possible to have a, a time for students to come and debate, sort of have a, a, a subject thrown out there? You know what I mean? A debate for the concerns. Oh, it's a session. Mm -hmm. uh, session, yeah. Yeah, maybe you guys are difficult to say it, but Tibet, you know, we can sometimes, even, <coughs> maybe sometimes, just my opinion, you know, sometimes we can teach maybe one hour, mm -hmm. one hour, just you guys Tibet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe half hour. Maybe half hour, you guys just Tibet, you know. Good. Not yeah. that you know, this is the last half hour. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know, you can just, Discussing each other, you know. <laughs> for example, he says something, they, they, she says, oh no, no, this is not right. Because if you say that, this logic, not necessary. Oh. Harms that. <coughs> then he says, oh, you just, you against this text. Yeah. You know, usually the many texts also, they have different, uh, you know, experience. Not all the same, like, you know, this. Follow that the one main text. Mm. You know, usually there are different commentaries. And not all the same, you know. Just one by word. Maybe the meaning same, the different explain, then different understand. They would not same explain. But they're different. They, you know, you guys just, you don't know, you know, but, you know, feel too hard to them, you know, follow them, maybe damage the house, the life. <laughs> just stay, you know, just round, you know, caution, answer, you know. It's good. Mm. If you guys like, I'm, I love this. We could call it shame and embarrassment night. You, try to shame <laughs> and embarrassment. <laughs> you know, for example, now, you have different opinions. You know, Ian has a different, the Harvard has different, different opinions. Then they can put that. Otherwise, anybody same opinion, then not be different, right? Mm. Everybody can say it. Mm. It's good, you know, that means more you yeah. uh, reply apart. So your your wisdom will increase. You have understand more, and you have more ways to think about. Usually, we say Gishi Kamalos. Gishi Kamalos, Karim Kamalos, Kajiko, Nenja, Rao, Kumamu, Zanzaita. So, don't, if there's, you say, don't argue with the Gishi. Yeah. No, no. So no, 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 no. There's a problem. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. This means, like, you know, because Gishis, they always, they debate all the time, so they always have something, some ways to, to say. say. Oh. You know, so, you can't, you know, you can't defeat them, you know. So, <laughs> Therefore, you know, you guys debate, you guys more thinking, you know, more different thoughts coming, and more different, different, different people with different opinions, then you can learn each other. Usually we study the monastery, we learn mostly, we learn the, the debate yard. Mm -hmm. no, no. Mostly we learn the debate yard. Yeah. Now, if you go to teaching, then explain that we just get that we all forgot. We say, we all, we all learn debate. Yeah, true. May, may I make a suggestion? Yeah. Maybe, obviously, it's very it's easiest for everyone to just start discussing whatever one's own opinions or beliefs are. But then also sometimes, even though we might not be able to debate like the monks in the yeah. monastery, but we can perhaps try to adopt some of the principles to come to uh, to be able to better discipline our discussion, right? <coughs> so for example, maybe if the center or the students can request Geshe-la to just give a basic introduction to 
certain ways of thinking of comparing objects in monastic debates, like you know whether they are you know synonymous. For example, shame and embarrassment. You know these two considering these two objects. What is the what are the differences between the two? Right. So are they synonymous? Or they are. If there's one, it has to be the other. Or are they? Are there three possibilities between them? Four possibilities between them? So ask Yeshua to explain. Like Musun Yeshi Ben Ji Gala. They go this. They she this. They consolate them. Okay. Join. That's why not. They present this. Okay. This also good enough. They're not same. Jitesh Ji don't want to change. Come on, Sakai. Sakai don't want to change. They don't want to change. They don't want to change. So like in a way of a doubt, um, thinking that elderly concern and the embarrassment, and the lack of embarrassment, they are the same, they are similar. But if we discuss, if we just think like that, then you will not understand more. You know? But if we discuss, then somebody will say something, somebody will say other things, so then you understand more and more about, it. So about the differences of those two. Therefore, first, first you have to debate, the first you have to understand, identify the subject, no? Then I'm also going to do one or two or one or two. Then you have to do one or two or one or two. Then you have to do one or two or one. And so in the debate, you know, so when you debate, it's not only the doubt that you're having in, in your mind, but also you ask the question like, what's the definition of shame? Yeah. So then you have to understand, you have to know the definition according to the text. If you don't know that, then you will not be able to answer what is the what is shame, you know. So you might have many different thoughts, many different, but if you know that, then you will know exactly what is shame. Yeah. And then based on that, then if, if somebody else explains what is shame, and you can say, oh, no, that's not shame. If, the, if it is shame, it has to be like this. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand the definition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so your question is not only what you have doubt, but you can also call, ask question, like, what's the definition of shame? What's the definition of investment? Mm -hmm. You can ask that kind of question. You know? mm -hmm. So you have to know, you have to know the definitions you know, clearly. Without that, you will get mixed up. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. So how do you define a uh, human being? How do you define human being? Okay. How you define what characteristics do you look for to define, to define human being? Speech and ability to understand. Speech? Yeah, and ability to understand. And ability to understand. Speak and ability to understand. Mashi Tango. If she does that, this is a, you can give the son. A mute. You can't speak, but can understand. Mm. Okay. So the ability to speak, the ability to understand. Yeah, the ability. So because if they can't speak, but they can understand. Okay. My dog can speak and understand. <laughs> but, yeah, but they're they're a they're a human being in the context in this context. Human being, a dog is? No, no, so they're a being. They're they're human being. They're not. No, they have to have a mental factor. They also they fit the the form of a human. Yes, you said that. They have to fit in the category of somebody who has the ability to speak and understand. And that's right. The form. That's right. Is the form of a human. Okay, so you said speak and understand. The ability to speak. Yes, the ability to speak and understand. It's not necessary that they have to be able to speak. It's not necessary that they speak, but they have the ability. Potential. Capacity. Capacity. Potential. But sometimes physically they'll never be able to speak. What was the full definition again? <laughs> We're debating that the ability to speak and understand, mm -hmm. but some people may never have the ability to speak, but they understand. Not everyone can understand. Someone who's born from no, I think Ian has more than that, right? Yeah, you have definition. So that was the first definition, and then so then we had to refine it a little. So then what was Ian's definition? Yeah. 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 <coughs> somebody who falls in the category of somebody. Uh, having the ability to speak and understand, and they also have the form of a human. 
Mm. But then we're trying to define, if you say, what is a human being? And they say, you say part of the definition has the word human in it, then that would be kind of invalid. So, yeah, so, yeah. 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 The yeah. 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 is the first, having the ability to speak and understand. That's just kind of an add-on because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How about the pen? potential to understand? Potential to understand. Potential to understand. But you can't speak. Potential to speak. So then it's not human if it's not human speech. Mm -hmm. That's still a certain definition. Yeah. So the potential to understand the potential to speak. Yeah, the potential for language and the potential for reason. Then what about Buddhists? Are they human beings? Because they have the potential to understand and the potential to speak. What about what? Buddha. 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 Fully not Buddha. beings. Buddha. Or like Manjushri or Tara. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, that, that are... So are they human beings? Are Buddhist no, human beings? Uh, uh, no, the word human sentient. beings are limited to the uh, desire realm. Uh, also, uh, but then according to your definition, there was this potential to speak and potential to understand. But they're limited to the desire realm. Okay, so now you're adding potential to speak and potential to understand, but... Okay, so okay, so there is potential to speak and potential to understand, but the limited desire realm. Is that your your refined um, definition? Right. Okay, then what about gods of desire realms? Are they human beings because they are limited to desire realm and they have the ability to speak and a, a potential to speak and potential to understand? I, but do they have the physical form? To also, now you're adding to yeah. <laughs> potential to speak. <laughs> <laughs> potential to speak. <laughs> 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 Guess who I added the form and a previous discussion? <laughs> Didn't you? I, ま、し、て、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ、ぐ
term that is supposed to be defined versus definition, and then also illustration. So it's based on those three separate categories yeah, that we have to work with here in order to correctly come to an understanding of what a term is, what that definition is, and what are illustrations of that term, and so forth. If you were to have the word that is to be defined in the definition itself, it becomes null, it becomes invalid. But if, in order to know what that lineage is, you have to know what a human is. She made a human just by putting the word human in. I didn't put it. I didn't put human in there. Well, Who put human in there? No, so I said <laughs> that she lost the lineage of those who can speak it. Yeah, I said, come on, lineage. I said, yeah. I said then those then who <laughs> abide in the lineage of those who can speak and understand. But then I that was my that makes same the lineage what? belongs to the God realms because they can speak and understand. No, but there's that no doesn't that, that doesn't refer. Gods yeah. can speak. Gods can understand. But they are not those that belong in the lineage or abide in the lineage of those who can speak and understand. Why not? Why? Why? Because they're not humans. Yes. So they're they're not they're not they're not not human. Human. I'm relying on the term human. No, they're in a separate lineage. They're in a separate lineage. They're not humans. No, I always go back to the definition that they don't belong in the lineage. So your dog is within the lineage of those who can speak and understand. No, is that correct? Those who can speak and understand. And when I ask you, how do we know the difference between that lineage and the dog's lineage? Why is that 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 lineage? Yes, different lineage. Define lineage, please. What's di what's lineage mean? No, it's just a family, a collection. Ask it. What's lineage mean? What's lineage mean? What's lineage mean? What's lineage mean? Like lineage, you know, a uh, uh, family, you know, in that yeah. case. Uh, family, okay, like, like, like a genus. You know, family of male or male family or female family. Oh, that is like a species of something. Species of something like that, yeah? Type. 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 So then if, if, if the gods <coughs> have the ability to speak and understand, and they belong to their own lineage, yeah. those who can speak and understand, mm -hmm. what would be the difference between that lineage and this lineage that can speak and understand? They can both so then you, I would have to ask you, what is the definition of God? Somebody who's been reborn in the God realm. The definition of God, not your understanding of what, the, but the definition of God. Ask Isha. I don't know. God God's in the yoga. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, but therefore, if there are gods who have the ability to speak in the universe. Because they one. Huh? You can invent one. Oh, actually, oh, you can. Oh, okay. You can invent one and see how it holds up to other people's logical well, arguments. They don't speak with like, you know, <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> By face. Those who belong to the lineage of those who can speak and understand. But if gods have that same ability to speak and understand, then what would differentiate for them from humans in that definition? Because they don't belong to the lineage of those who can speak and understand. Gods may speak, they, they may understand, but they don't belong to the lineage of those who can speak and understand. But that is the definition of human. Then there's two different abiding lineages. in the lineage of those who can speak and understand. Where is it? But where is it? Is it that is the main characteristic of human beings, right? They're I mean, just big, because big. gods can speak and because they can understand doesn't mean that that is a pro they, there is the what's the word? Um, the uh, so it has to be prominent you know, a characteristic that defines what gods are. That's why no, I, I think you know, it has to be impl implied. You know that mm -hmm. the lineage is referring to the human lineage. Yeah. It has to be applied. So if you don't apply, if it's not applied, then you will not understand. Then you can, if you just say a lineage you know, of being able to speak and understand, mm -hmm. then that can be any kind of lineage, right? That's what so I. So what yeah. you are saying, yeah. the lineage, yeah. then they have to be implied. Of course, it doesn't say that. Yeah. You know, the, so the it's the lineage like, is implied, the human lineage, and so that cuts everything else who is able to speak and understand from so, the, from the being human beings. So that rely, it relies on the word human. Yes, yes, no, no, that, that no. is, you know, that, that's just, that's, like, like I said, you know, that's invention, you know, of yeah. the definition, right? Yeah. So you add that to stop others falling into that category of human beings. So if you just say the definition of human being is being able to speak and understand, then, and of course, like the devil's dog and, yeah. you know, the parrot, you know, who able to say something, you know, so can fall into that category, yeah. right? Then you just say, okay, so if it, Abiding in that lineage of being able to speak and understand, mm -hmm. and so the lineage is of course the human being, the human lineage, and so because you are not in that lineage, even though if you are able, even if you are able to speak and understand, you are not human being. So the parrot is in its own, is in the, uh, not yeah. to be cute. So the parrot is in a different lineage 
of speaking and understanding. Yes, yes. Is so right? it, it should be God like, is so lineage means speaking. like in a type or category. Well, so, you so, have you have so why is that not correct? Right? Okay. Why is that not correct? Because I don't need to know. I don't need to know the definition of Paris or God. Well, if you already say him in there, you know, then you know, then already knows. Like saying it's already human there, you know, you don't have to have the definition. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to add that, but it's implied. You know, it has to be implied, otherwise, you no. Know, because that's yeah. what we're we talking about. Yeah. So you just have now, to in the case of language. Paris, okay. I would say when a Paris says, like, you know, I love you, I miss you, just because it's been trained to say that, does it understand the meaning of those, of what it's saying? Okay. Can yeah. it speak, does it that's understand its own language. speech? I, okay, let me, let me say this. <laughs> My intent for bringing that up is, I agree with what you're saying, but let's talk about the dog. The dog so does the, the dog, dog know when the, Deborah says, say, Om Mani Pime Hong, Om Mani Pime Hong? No, but has, yeah. no, the dog does have some, a higher level of understanding, maybe not as high, but has some understanding. Yes. And that is able to speak and communicate, and is able to understand. Communicating what? Right. Excuse me? Speak. When we say speak, what do what we mean? Is it saying, is it saying Debra? Debra? Their language. No, no they have their own language. They definitely have their own language. Is it saying giving food, Debra? <laughs> they can bark. I'm they can, hungry. Can, <laughs> they can bark. They can whimper. They can express fear. Bark. Is that speech? Is they that can express speech fear. In the, in the way what is speech? What is speech? What is speech? Dog, but not in this context, right? What is speech? Speech is communicating something. Okay, so this is the definition of speech. The baby is speech. Because we have definition of speech as well, but they communicate. Yeah. It's not dependent yeah. on the, the lineage. No, I'm not trying to be... You I have think to be oh, no, that's exactly. Yeah. So I think you should definitely... This, this is why the reason why we have to clear definitions that we agree upon, that we accept as valid, mm. and then we have to stick by those definitions. Otherwise, it's just going to go like this everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right? I agree. I agree. And then we can't yeah, imagine where we're going wrong in our thinking. We'll come to clear, clear realizations. <coughs> bring things up to the next level. It's just going to be people talking to each other mm. with no dispute. And that's why I'm asking that maybe it would be beneficial to have, before you carry on some kind of a structured debate session on a weekly basis after class, if you could have an introductory kind of like, what is a format of, of how do you uh, So, so Anala, there are, there are definitions of what speech, what yeah. constitutes speech, and what gets kicked down. Yep. Oh, interesting. That, I, that level I didn't know was there. Yeah. More generally, and maybe not give us my definition. Yeah. It's a general, you know, not being at the crossroads. I don't know what you were saying. So the main part of the definition is abiding in the lineage. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you are able to speak or not. <laughs> no, 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 that is great. As long as you're in that lineage, you're in the lineage. So can I just say one more thing about all this? After class, sometimes we debate and we get pretty loud, and I'm surprised you can't hear us. But we don't know what we're talking about most of the time, but we may do it anyway. But one of the things that often comes up is that Geshe said, no, that's not what Geshe said. Yes, it is what Geshe said. Well, that's not what he meant. Yes, it is what he meant. So how are we supposed to know if we're on the right track, I guess, is the question. So, so don't go by what Krishna says. <laughs> don't, don't say, you know, Buddha said. Don't say what I said. Yeah. Be but that's because what Buddha said, no no. <laughs> no, no, no. We say follow you should Buddha's tracks. Mm -hmm. But Buddha said, don't say what I said. Don't believe me, just. Just you because it's logic. Yeah. Right. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. 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 あの時けれだ。あの時パソコン。まだまだまだ。さんに行けじょんま。まだ。さんに行けじょんま。まだ。さんに行けじょんま。まだ。さんに行けじょんま。まだ。さんに行けじょんま。まだ。さんに行けじ
Well, you get louder to Tibet. This is good for you know everybody get some more emotion. And you can get loud. And you can have a fist fight. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you can get close to each other's face, just don't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're really debating, you know, even if you hit, you wouldn't mind. I don't know if we're debating or arguing. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> no, arguing is not good. Arguing with reason is debate. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's what we're doing then. Uh, okay. So yeah. argument is a form of debate. Also. Yeah. A so debate is a form of argument. We're going to debate about it. <laughs> uh, so my question earlier, um, when Geshe was teaching about refuge, somebody in the past said that, and I was disagreeing with this person, they said that refuge is a Hinayana practice. Is that true? Yeah, we can have all, all of them. All of them. So it's not? Okay. It's all of them. I really explained it to me. Yeah, he, that's what this other person was saying. That's what I was disagreeing with. Okay. You yeah. get the light. So don't go out and get some money. Yeah. Don't be shit. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, so of course, you know, it depends on what motivation you have, right? So it depends on motivation you know, when you're taking refuge. Okay, for the reason I'm going to take refuge. So of course you have that. But in order to practice you know, the Mahayana refuge, you have to also practice the Hinayana refuge. You know, so you have to practice the small scope refuge. So without practicing that, you can't get to that practice. You, know? you don't have to be that. You know, you know, when you practice a small scope, you don't have to be small scope. When you practice medium scope, you know, so in order to reach the Mahayana, you know, you have to practice all that, but you don't have to be that. Yeah. Well, that people know that if you want, want to learn more about a debate in the monastery, um, there's a new book in our bookstore. It's really um, great. Uh, by Geshe Sopa, who went through the um, Sarajan monastic system. He was at the very top of his class, and he went through it before the invasion of the Chinese. Um, and then he came to the United States and uh, began teaching at the point of the Buddha Center. But he describes very much his whole progress. And he was um, evidently a master debater. So I was called um, Like a Waking Dream. Mm -hmm. What subject? It's about his life, Geshe Sopa's life in the monastery and the yeah. debate and how oh, he. He's a nun tutor. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a. Biography. Biography. Well, it's sort of biography, not exactly. More like his. Yeah, it's Marantar, can you please um, give us a, a teaching on the mechanics of debate, the rules for debate, so that when we do the debates, we're doing it uh, in a constructive fashion. Yeah. Because I, I have a feeling that the, the debates are conducted under certain rules for logic. You know, what's the premise of, of the debate, the importance of definitions, and so on. So if you could give us a teaching. Uh, really. Uh, that's ジャンルのだ。で、ジャンルだ。そのままだ。なんで、セディナ。ちょっと変わる。ジャンルだって、ペナ。ジャンルスムシコ。ね、で、テンデスケパカネスリデで、コンペアリング、コンペアリング、テ
So there's a what was that uh, joy and faith and joy or faith and uh, liking, right? Yeah, another type of people are dead. You can you know? Liking, yeah. <coughs> once they're both, once they're not dead, but they're not one. You know? Yeah, we will we will try. So I mean, there's many different ways you can you know you can uh, do the debate. So one way is just like you know, Anila and, and Ray did it earlier. Um, so you, you say something, <laughs> I think it's like that you say. I mean, that's, that that's can be also a way of doing the debate. Uh, but then you can, Anila was suggesting maybe give some ideas and like, okay, so, you know, instead of asking what is this, and then you can say, okay, so the shame and embarrassment, you know, are they same or are they different? You can just ask like that, are they same or if they are same or different, you know. And how many possibilities are there? Like possibility of being same or different, or being one and not other, but or being both and being neither, and so forth. Mm. So that kind of you know, uh, things. Like and we can we can go through that. But that was you know like in the in Tibetan way of debating, there is a rule. You know the rules that we you know for us like there's an answer to a question that though like when you ask the answer, uh, when you ask the you know, question, then the way you ask. Depends how you, you know, the, the, how, how you answer uh, depends on the way it's asked. You know, so if, if you ask this way, then you have to answer this way. If you ask the other way, and so even if you are saying yes or no, <coughs> but then there's different answers. So those are a little bit difficult to do in English. Yeah. So we will we'll not be able to because we don't we don't have exact same you know terms terminology to yeah. you know to use that, and so it will be difficult on that kind of rules. But yeah, I mean we can <coughs> do like the regular you know discussion. So I mean, you know, if, if we were to say like desire, you know, so you know, so I so you can say I desire means yes, and you know, I yes or you know, uh, I wish or I desire. You know, that means like yes, and then and, uh, and then there's you say no probation, that means no. Um, and so you sense that you know, there's, there's no provision, and and so I desire it's like the same, and saying yes, and if you say uh, so why, you know, why, you know, so if you say back to like a teacher means why, you know, and that means like no, and then if you say oh the reason not established, you know, that means also no. I mean, the way it is, you know, the what is in Tibetan is of course it's just say like yes and no, I mean no no in different ways, you know. And this way of you know, saying no is to this kind of question, and this way of knowing, saying no is to this kind of question. You know? mm -hmm. Depends how the question is asked. Mm -hmm. So even you are saying no in the both way, but and then so this kind of rules. You know, those those are the rules that we, you know, in the monasteries, you know, they follow, and that makes the debating more, I don't know, more like you know, precise, more precise or more exciting, you know. <laughs> Whereas you know, if you just ask like you know the regular. Conversation then doesn't become that kind of that much of fun. Yeah, so it, it's yeah, those are the things. Now otherwise, yeah, it's, it's the same. And asking question and giving answer. Yeah, and the rules can provide focus to, to the conversation, right? Yeah. And the yes. Yes. Focusing in yeah. instead of the conversation drifting into. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now it's time. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we can see each other maybe it's not a lot of fun. Ah, maybe it's a lot of fun. It was the show. That's what I wanted to do. Tama, 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 で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
They can teach, right? Teach. Mm -hmm. Or you can learn full Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Because some some characters are very difficult to English, you know. Some of the Tibetan very many things they turn to English and nothing meaning. Mm. This is different you know. Okay, anyway, anybody pray to burn next lap, very Tibet class, Tibet. <laughs> <laughs> Not only Tibetan, some very who oh, play to Tibet. <laughs> it's possible to, uh, of course, we don't have the subtleties of the Tibetan language, but the just the essence of that kind of questioning and answering in a disciplined manner is still, it's able, it's, I think it's possible to capture that in English, and there are places where they do that. When she come back, it's a court system. No, no, not even the court system. I mean, just put the oh, centers. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Right now. Maybe we'll wait for her to go so we can debate. <laughs> <laughs> she she debate that. We had a class. We had a yeah, guess she's out there. You had to debate with <laughs> No, not that. You guys did not. It was Judah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, anyway. Not talk. Okay. Not talk. You have to go far away. Okay, we'll fast track it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Another Page 39.